Hi, I'm Bethany. Welcome to my channel. We are going to make Swiss meringue buttercream today. Swiss meringue buttercream is a silky smooth buttercream that will melt in your mouth. It's my favorite. Here's all my ingredients. It's really simple. I'll go through them one by one. Five sticks of butter, nine egg white, one and a half cups of sugar, a dash of cinnamon and a dash of salt, a tablespoon of some good vanilla. I use some good rich Mexican vanilla. So much flavor. First thing we're going to do is cube the butter. Now we're going to add our egg whites into our bowl. Not the egg yolks, just the whites. Hey, if you want to make some creme brulee later, save those egg yolks. That's a great idea. This creme brulee is so delicious. Now we're going to add our one and a half cups of sugar to our nine egg whites. I've taken off my beater and I'm going to mix this by hand. I just want to get that sugar and egg incorporated. Then we're going to take it to the stove and heat up those eggs so they're safe to eat and so that sugar dissolves. Let's take it to the stove. I've got some simmering water in this pot. I'm going to take my mixing bowl. I'm just going to set it right on top. It's going to act as a bit of a double broiler. And I'm going to keep mixing while it's on here. I'm going to do this for about three minutes. Okay, I whisked this for about three minutes and I kept whisking it the entire time so as not to get scrambled eggs. You don't want those. And now I'm going to take it back to my mixer. I've I've gotten my bowl off the stove and back on my mixer and I've attached my whisk attachment. So we can beat up these egg whites in a nice smooth silky texture. Up you go. I'm going to turn it on medium high for about seven minutes to get a nice stiff peak. Okay, those egg whites and sugar have come together in this beautiful meringue. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. You could put this stuff right on top of your cake and then flame it and have this beautiful baked elastic cake. Amazing. We're going to make it even more amazing by adding our butter in. I'm switching attachments here. I'm taking my whisk out and I'm putting in my paddle attachment so it can really whip and beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Who doesn't love a little MJ? I do, that's for sure. I'm obsessed. Back on the mixer, we're going to add our butter in slowly, just kind of couple cubes at a time. As I'm adding my butter in, sometimes Swiss meringue buttercream likes to curdle or separate, but that's okay. That's totally normal. And just keep going, keep beating it, and eventually it'll all come together in this beautiful symphony of Swiss meringue buttercream. Get our butter in there. It's how your Swiss meringue buttercream should look. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add my vanilla, my salt, and my cinnamon. I'm going to scrape down the sides and whip that baby up some more. Look at that cinnamon speckled buttercream. So beautiful. And I have to test it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, the cinnamon especially is just intensified and the vanilla is intensified. So good. It's beautiful. Yep, I'm licking this beater for sure. If you really want to get crazy, you could add cookie butter to your buttercream, whip it up, and it is the most amazing taste you'll ever have in your life. It's so good. Some other ideas, you can add Nutella or cocoa powder, orange zest or lime zest. The possibilities are endless, really. This Swiss meringue buttercream takes flavor really, really well, so it just kind of intensifies that flavor, so it'll be good any direction you go. You're welcome. There's so many things you can do with it. You can frost your cake with it. You can fill your cake with it. Sugar cookies, graham crackers, apples, lots of things. I can't think of what you wouldn't put it on. If you like this video, click subscribe. Follow me on Instagram to see what's coming out next. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Where's a spoon?